all right now let's go ahead and see how we can do a line plot for a covid 19 data so in the line plot we need to see the reference for a line plot the line plot reference we can simply type there geom line thereafter you will notice a line plot can be plot can, can be plotted with the geom line you can plot it with the path you can plot it with the step just open it in a new tab you have like this there a geom path this path connects the two line together this geom line also connects these together a geom step can create a staircase plot like the a, a plot which can which can be plotted as an increasing plot all right all right so thereafter let me show you somewhere you it, it might be you might see somewhere let me see where this one this one is geom line there you see a geom step so in a geom step if you use you will be able to see a plot something like this all right and this geom path plot is like connecting two lines together so it's like this one all right so these different kind of the plot you can use these of the some of the settings like the arrow settings etc you can use so all those things you can definitely use if you use the line plot and uh, this link i'm gonna put it here inside this notebook later on if you want to visit these uh, if you want to visit these examples you can visit and then you can learn these line plot in the detail but here this line plot we are going to use only for a covid 19 data set in the united states all right let's go ahead and copy the, our previous copy our previous code and then we are going to put it here so this gg plot this one is the default in all the cases there we have geom point we just need to change it to geom line and everything else will be same we then we, we don't need to change anything else there just run it now once we run it we will see there a line plot is plotted there and earlier we had this scatter plot which was a point plot but now there we have a line plot you see how simple this is we don't need to make the changes the much of changes is not needed this one is for only one line let's suppose that if you want to plot the multiple lines together then how would you do that for example in the united states us data set you can get it with the head of us so in this data set we have confirmed cases recovered death and the active let's suppose that if we plot this confirmed cases and recovered together then we will be able to make a comparison that how many we will be able to make a comparison that how many cases are recovered and how many confirmed cases are there all right perfect let's go ahead and uh, do here a multiple plot in a single canvas so for this one we need to simply add here a multiple geom line so just copy this one uh, this one all right thereafter we are going to add here another geom line all right so these are the two different geom line all right but one thing is uh, different here if you notice there all these lines uh, let me show you all right by default all these line have here something like mapping and the data so we need to pass this data inside these geom line all right inside these geom point so inside this geom point we need to write it and we need to remove these thing from there just cut and paste it here all right super just paste it here and give here a comma and then paste it here give a comma there and there i say here this one is going to be the recovered cases all right so this one is going to plot there i need to put here a data is equal to us there i also want to put the data equal to us then aesthetics 
x is equal to the date in both of these cases but in one case there is confirmed and recovered we have there a color so the, for these confirmed cases we have color which is kind of red or you can say a dark dark orange and in the case of recovered i'm gonna put here a green color all right otherwise you can put something like this all right so this will be having a little greenish color thereafter everything else will be same just run it so once we run it we see a result something like this wow this is beautiful all right apart from that once you do all those things uh, finally i'm gonna get it inside this p all right and then i do here this print p so that we can remove these things all right just run it all right just a second all right i think something is all right i think a plus sign is missing here that's why this problem was coming all right thereafter we can also remove this print p otherwise you can simply use the p it doesn't matter all right so there we see one line is for here this red color which is kind of red or you can say the dark orange color this was for a confirmed cases and then we have something a greenish line there this green line is recovered so this gap says that these people all right so these people actually either in active case or death has occurred and if you see there as the time is increasing the gap is increasing there that's when the more number of deaths are happening in the us in these days and if you want to see it clearly you can just copy it and paste it here and then finally we can add here the another geom line in which we can add the death as well so there i'm going to add the deaths and in that i just need to put here these are the deaths just run it i just want to also put it here a red color all right so there you will notice these death might not be um, visible as compared to these because the the amount or you can see the scale for these data is quite large but clearly you can see there these death is increasing a little all right so these death are increasing a little as uh, time is moving otherwise what you can do you can remove all other two points like this point then you can run then you will notice that this one is the death all right so let me change few more thing it was actually the confirmed case it was the confirmed and recovered cases i think it was and the death as well all right so in this actually i'm going to remove this death so this death does not make much sense there thereafter in this i'm going to say here the total death or a total death cases in us so if you notice there a little increase a sudden increase in the month of april and thereafter it kept increasing kept increasing but there in the month of perhaps in november and that's december you are again seeing a little jump in the death so these days are quite hard uh, due to these covid cases all right so these are the covid data set analysis in the coming lectures i'll be also showing you different other types of the plot which you can use with the gg plot i'll be also using some other type of the data set so that you can get the knowledge how you can do the plotting for various types of the data all right i'll see you next lesson